What's up guys, it's at i 7 marct bringing you another video for you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. I'm here doing the next one up, which I believe is number 8, if I haven't lost count already. And this time around we're going to be covering a doozy. Oh my god, Sega Saturn. Sega Saturn. And uh, for the longest time, Sega Saturn, or the term Sega Saturn, along with emulation, has been one of a lot of pain, a lot of suffering, and a lot of impatience because, oh dear Lord, has this one been for the longest time, way back in the beginnings of, you know, emulation as a whole, this one was legendary for how difficult it was to get something even remotely usable. Uh, even less, you know, playable in any form or capacity. Now, there has been many people who have tried their hand. The ones that basically, at least in my recollected memory, the one that comes up the most, either because people love and live by it or because there's a group of people hating on it because it's never up to their expectations. And that is, uh, I'm hoping I'm going to, um, spell it correctly or name it correctly is Yabousi or I, I for some stupid reason I always call it Yabusi don't ask me why it doesn't make no sense but I always call it Yabusi for some reason but you know just pay no mind to my crazy mind or whatever the point is the point is Yabousi or Yabusi however you want to call it has been around, uh, around, sorry, for the longest time, they have a pedigree. Whether you think it's the best or not, it's, that's not the point. It's beyond that. The fact is that these guys have been, for the longest time, trying their hand to master, you know, trying to reverse engineer how the Saturn, back at the day, which was notoriously... Uh, famous for being difficult to program to, and I'm talking about the platform, the console, not emulation. Extremely difficult to program. Imagine trying to replicate that in emulation, where other more simpler, let's say, architectures or whatever for gaming were difficult to emulate. Imagine the Sega Saturn. But enough of that because uh, most of the guys watching this video already know all this and at this point in time in 2019 where I raise you know the question of what's good today I still bring it back I bring it back why because there has been a fork in the road for Yabausi and it's called Yaba Sanchido Yaba Sanchido I started doing a little bit of research I still haven't gotten it working perfectly but for some fun reason or crazy um, reason, I have to run them side by side. I keep an original Yabausi and I keep the latest version of Yabo Sanchido and somehow, for some reason, it just works for me. So I'm running it in a separate, basically a separate folder. And for some games I need to use one and then for some games I need to use the other. It's not perfect, far from it. And I know a lot of other uh, people prefer uh, emulators like SSF. Now, SSF does have its uses, but I don't really like it as much for Saturn. I like it for other things, which I'll be covering later on. More like Model 3 and, and arcade emulation. But as for Sega Saturn, this is the one that has given me, let's put it this way, the least headaches. So that being said, <clears throat> and warning, uh, there are some concessions that I'm going to have to doing in order to provide this video for you guys because even though you see a lot of uh, videos out there, oh yes, uh, Sega Saturn 
uh, emulation running in 4K or this or that. It's not as simple. There are a lot of concessions that need to be made in order for that to happen. And I'm just going to run you guys what I have to do, at least in my case scenario, and what I'm able to play and, and whatnot. But, um, yeah, I might do uh, little extras videos just with gameplay so you can see how it really feels. There's some issues that probably in the recording I'm not going to be able to do like full screen and stuff like that because at this time, and it's not a matter of emulation, it's more a matter of settings and UI. For some reason, I'm having an issue recording and getting in and out of full screen for some reason. So, that being said, let's go right into it. Start off uh, this video or this portion of the video with a little disclaimer here. Now, the reason why I have two of these, you have the Yaba Sanchiro and you have the Yabauzi one, is because at least when um, these are concerned, at least uh, this side of Saturn emulation that I choose, I choose to use to provide and, and show you guys these because even though there are other options as I mentioned before, these are the ones that I feel work best for independent emulation you know not anything part of like a multi emulator like retro arc or something of that kind now specifically Yabauzi and Yaba Sanchiro which I'm going to explain what it is you have one which was the original which is this one right here and then you have Yaba Sanchiro which is a kind of a fork or a continuation built upon the core which is Yabauzi. Now, Yabauzi is still, you know, the main thing that drives the emulation on the computer, but Yaba Sanchiro takes it a bit further by optimizing certain aspects of the cores of this and making it run in many cases with more options and even optimize. Now, there's a weird thing because I tried this. Uh, you know, having it in different folders uh, and sit in separate uh, places, but for some reason, the features of one overlap the other when you have both of them. I haven't tried them. I tried the uh, Yabauzi one independently, but I haven't tried this one solo, like having this out of my computer. So I don't know if this will run the whole thing completely. I'll try that next, but at least for this video, we're going to be switching back and forth between them because for some weird reason, sometimes games will work fine on this one. And when they don't, I jump over to this one and it works fine. And sometimes I there's games that won't run well here or they'll run in a lower resolution. And when I jump back to the original, it, wor it just works. So bear with me just for this video. I just want to show you it running some games and how well it runs them. So let's start with the original one. And of course, I'm gonna be running them in the correct aspect ratio and only in window mode. But believe me, it does, just for the sake of not having to, you know, screw with the recording or anything like that, it does move to full screen thanks to the Yaba Sanchito fork, which is it's important because before, okay, before I start with the games, let me open up Yaba Sanchito here for a second so you can see something in the settings. This is what I'm talking about. Now you have all your options, but Java Sanchiro gives you a lot more in terms of options and emulation and the thing with the BIOS and stuff. It gives you a better full screen resolution. It gives you more options when it comes to, let's say, stuff that you want to add, you know, um, anti aliasing and filters. If you gives you the option of do using GPU tessellation or CPU tessellation, which is really awesome, but not exactly needed, but it does give you the bump up in resolution and stuff like that, which are not, for some reason, they're not an option with the Abousi. The Abousi, you go in, even the latest one that came out does not provide you with those options. When you go to video, you see, 
they're not available. It gives you a full screen resolution, but it really doesn't work where well when you try to switch from window to full screen, it just, it doesn't appear right. So this works kind of better. You gotta be careful when you configure the inputs and try to make them, because since it, they overlap one from the other, um, try to configure it exactly the way you configure one, configure the other, because sometimes you don't, it, one will run the other settings for some weird reason, but enough of that crap. I know you came here to see the game, so let's start um, let's start by running radiant silver gun which is a little tricky uh, this one being from one of my favorite companies treasure and of course it's amazing it's amazing shoot 'em up extremely rare because they were very limited so you have options and i'm gonna go straight for it I don't want to take too long because I want to show you a couple of games. Now, as you see here, looking at that ship that's scaling in, that's the smooth version. That's uh, basically I'm running it at a higher resolution. That is not the original, believe me. So everything, the, or everything that's 3D related in this game will look a lot more smoother. 2D won't scale as, mu as much, but, and I just got killed because I was, I don't know what I was thinking about, but, all right, let's play the game. Now this, of course, I don't need to speak for Radiant Silver Gun because this to this date is an amazing shoot -em up that has a very complex power-up system that you need to like me I'm getting my ass handed to me but it's because you know I haven't played it in a bit and since I'm trying to focus on showing you the features of the emulator versus playing the game I know it's excuses for my bad playing but bear with me One of the best things, of course, of this uh, shoot 'em up is the fact that you have so many combinations of weapons that you can basically assign for each button. So if you don't, oh, if you don't focus, like me, if you don't focus on where each button is placed, you're gonna get messed up pretty quick. Like me right now, that I have coming into terms to where is my button placements and which are the shots and stuff. I'm getting completely mauled, but the point here, at least for today's video, is not how well or bad I play, is how well this emulator does this game, this rare and impressive game. Sorry about that. Um, don't worry, I'll do a, uh, another video with me doing a playthrough and believe me, it's gonna be much different. Glowing Rice, I know you're disappointed, but you know, I was just showing off how well the game looks, now how good I played. So, that being said, let's, uh, let's go to the next one. Let's try, I mean, a standard and uh, a classic from back in the day for Sega was Galaxy Force and Galaxy Force 2. So let's try it out. There are some games, however, I think this is going to be one of them where if you try to run them in um, 
in a higher resolution, they will not play. I don't know if it's because of emulation accuracy, but it won't play some music or sound from the game. So you will have some elements missing. I'm gonna test it out here. Starship command to destroy it. Begin takeoff countdown. See, we have Roger. the voices, but I gotta see if it plays any music because it doesn't seem like it will. Yep. It's not playing the music. Now, let's hold on. As you as you can see, everything looks much smoother. I mean, it doesn't look high res or anything like that. But it is much smoother. Now, let's try it with the uh, Yara Sanchito one and see if this one goes back, reverts back to the standard version. Let's go into, let's pause it and go into settings, video, oh, everything is running original, so yeah, I guess that's that. I know there's some games that will not run or will run. Starship command to destroy it. Begin takeoff countdown. Jeez. Roger. Okay, Roger. Okay, Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger. Alright, let's do this one as it is. I'm not sure if this is one of those games that I, I mentioned, but to me, it is missing some sound. And I don't know if you noticed, but... In this version, it looks a little bit more pixely. I know the art style of Galaxy Force is is this way, you know, kind of like 2D, trying to act like 3D, and everything is supposed to look like really pixely, but... Okay, let's go on to Yabowsi again. This time, I'm gonna try that same trick, but this time we're gonna do it with Virtual Fighter, which is another classic. Of course, I don't have nowhere near enough titles to show off like the best of the best of the Sega Saturn, but. At least we'll get a good idea here. Now, I'm not getting any music here. Yeah, this is no sound. See, this is what I was talking about. Look at the characters and how high res they look. The backgrounds are not being like jacked up the res or anything, but um, some of the aspects of the UI and of course the models, the 3D models, look super clean and super high res. Now I'm gonna do a test with another one, but this time running it in uh, the Yava Sanchito one, so I can show you the difference. And let's go. See, now we got sound. See what I'm talking about? I know this is this might be a dynamic created by me having them 
you know, installed. See, now we get background music. And this, of course, is going to be a more faithful rendition. This is more closer to the original, actually. See? More pixely models, but at least now we get all the sounds from the game. A more complete. So I guess it's up to up to your choice, you know, what do you prefer? Do you prefer I know there has to be a way how to tweak it where you can get, you know, exactly what you want, you know, the high res uh, graphics plus the sound. It's just something that I haven't messed around enough with. But it is above everything else and the point of me making this video is that it is a far cry compared to how Yabowsi was a few years back which it was basically like a slideshow you know it was n not even near or close to how it plays now at least now you get you know uh, full uh, frame rate all the sounds the sound effects no crackling, no none of that nonsense. And of course you have control over what kind of input because if you go from the settings you have of course when you go to input you have you know the assortment of every kind of control that you would want to. You have the, the, the double mission stick, you have the wheel, you have the pad, the 3D control pad, gun, mouse, you know, everything. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty complete, guys. Now, this one is working. Now, remember, I will have more gameplay because I know I'm, I'm talking and going through menus and interrupting and stuff like that. So, stay tuned for the extras video which i will have you know games running and playing them the way it's meant to be and you can have a better idea of how they look and sound probably in full screen as well so stay tuned to that now nights for some reason does not work i'm still not sure why it might be you know a bad rip or something that's not allowing it to boot up but I've tried it in both, uh, Yabowsi original and this one, and for some reason they just won't run, so. I wish I could have had that one because, and it's weird, because I did have this running in Hyperspin, but I was, if I remember correctly, I was using SSF for that one, so that might be it. Now... Let's do a fan favorite here. Ha, huh, this one is not as freezing. Let's try with the original. This is another game that if you run it at the you know regular resolution as the original you will get a full experience if you try to run it at a higher resolution clean up the graphics or whatever it will eliminate the sound for some reason something i need to look into if i want like the perfect emulation or the perfect balance now this one is running at a little bit higher resolution, uh, 3D models at least, but it is eliminating some of the background stuff. But enough of my comparisons and stuff, I'm just gonna play a couple of games and be quiet for a little bit.
such an amazing title. the big puppy. think there's enough of Panzer Dragoon. Let's see which one we can pick for the last game. Um, Asto doesn't want to work either, so I can't mess with that one right now. Which one are we gonna have here? Sonic R, I wouldn't do that to you guys, so I'm gonna try cotton here and see if it works out. Oh no, this one asked for the RAM and I haven't set that up, but I think it'll it'll run. sound. Oh. There we go. Now, 
they're doing some weird ass sound things, uh, at least we got it to run. Beautiful, beautiful shoot em up. Uh, in the same style and vein of Death Smiles, which is one of my favorite shoot em ups. But you can see you can use various elements or elementals to fight your way through, depending on the crystals that you. Of, you know, build up. You can also grab your opponent and throw him back. Go ahead. Ooh. Ouch. Ouch. Grab all the tea. Grab all the tea you can. Come on. Tea is life. There you go. And nice picture. Okay. As you can see, it's running pretty well. And this is gonna be the end for this video, guys. I hope you liked the video, enjoyed its content. Uh, please like and subscribe. I'm gonna stop it here and this cookie, but awesome Cotton 2 game. And say goodbye to you guys. I'll see you guys soon with the next video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like and sub. See you guys later. Take care.